Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I've filmed, but I am trying to be consistent with my videos. I have a list that I want to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those out for you, and hopefully I can keep staying consistent. Um, I decided to film a get to know me uh, video. I probably should have done this way back when I first started. I haven't even been on YouTube for that long, but like as my first video. Um, but I mean, it's never too late. Uh, yeah, so I just want you guys to like get to know me. First off, I'll start with my name is Chelly. C-H-E-L-Y. I know like a lot of people will try to pronounce it like Shelly. Um, no, it's C-H, not S-H. So my first name is Maricela, but I like going by Chelly. I'm 21 years old, although a lot of people never think I'm 21, and I don't even think that I'm 21. Sometimes I forget, and people will ask me, and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm 18, and then I'm just like, oh wait. No, I'm not. <laughs> and my birthday is October 14th. Um, single or taken, I am in a relationship. I guess I'll start off with why I started YouTube. Um, it kind of, I kind of just like decided to start YouTube like out of nowhere. Um, because I got my camera, um, for my birthday. And so I was like, well, I guess I'll start YouTube. <laughs> and so it kind of just like happened. A lot of people have been telling me like, oh, you should do a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. And I was always like really nervous. And um, it's weird to like put yourself out like, you know, in the internet, you, there's people that don't like you and stuff like that or have negative things to say. But I've honestly gotten a, a lot of positivity like from starting YouTube and then doing makeup like on the side. I do makeup on the side, so it's I'm really glad that I started it honestly because I feel like since I started YouTube that's kind of like when makeup on the side kind of picked up a lot more and just like putting myself out like on Instagram anyways like I just started it just because I think it's fun like it's just makeup like you know it comes off at the end of the day and you can try something totally dramatic you can try something like totally simple it comes off at the end of the day and this is honestly like a way for me to express myself how i got into makeup it kind of just happened like i get like i remember back in like seventh grade i would ask my parents if i could wear makeup which was just like i think i just really wanted to wear mascara and it was for like a picture day or something like that and so like i did get to wear mascara you can't even tell in the picture though like that i'm wearing mascara and i mean in high school i did wear makeup but it was just like foundation um obviously because you're a teenager and your skin freaking goes crazy so like that was the main reason i would wear foundation um i wouldn't even do my eyebrows and um i would just wear mascara and that was basically it i never wore lips like lipstick um not even like lip gloss like I obviously did not know anything about like contouring, highlighting, like none of that. Um, I didn't even know anything about lashes. I wouldn't really wear eyeliner. Um, I would, I wouldn't even wear like eyeshadow, honestly. The only time that I would wear eyeshadow is like whenever I really wanted to and it was literally one eyeshadow and it's called Woodwink from MAC and I remember I just put it like I would just put it like on my lid and that's it like I didn't know anything about blending like none of that so that was really all I wore in high school and it wasn't until like after high school that I really started getting into makeup I came across my first video that I don't even know who it was it was probably either Kathleen Lights uh Jacqueline Hill or Nicole Guerrero because those are the first people that I started watching and that's when like my like love for makeup like really started um and I just got super obsessed after that and I would only do it on myself and then do it like on my cousin whenever she like needed to go somewhere I did do her prom makeup now that I look back at pictures I'm just like why did you choose me to do your prom makeup like I feel so bad that you went like that I mean it wasn't that bad but 
like she could have got so much better but i mean you live and you learn obviously um my blending skills are a lot better my eyeliner skills are a lot better and yeah that's basically it what is your middle name i don't really have a middle name um my mom like screwed up and put her last name as my middle name so technically like my middle name is mendoza uh share your favorite subject in high school lunch Hobby? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I don't think I really ever had a favorite subject in high school. I really like lunch. PE was cool because you go to the locker room, you hang out, change, and then you really just get to like chill and really never had to do anything. I mean, at least with my PE teachers, like they were hella cool and I never really had to do anything. What is your favorite drink? Like, let's say it's Starbucks. Iced white mocha, no whip. I'll go with that. What is your favorite song at the moment? Mm, Drake, Child's Play. What would you or have you named your children? I don't have any children and I don't know what I would name them. I participated in any sports. Yes, I've played soccer all my life. I did cheerleading. I did Pop Warner cheer for one year and then competitive cheer for like six years. Uh, soccer, I've played since I was little up until high school. I tried track. Um, what is your favorite book? Um, I'd say I like the Fifty Shades of Grey books, and another one was The Fault in Our Stars. What is your favorite color? Um, I love maroon and olive green. Like that consists of my whole wardrobe. Anything that has to do with those two colors, I yes need. Thank you so much. My pants are even maroon everything maroon and olive green like yes what is your favorite animal um i've always said like my favorite animal is like a zebra i don't know why i just always liked it what is your favorite perfume uh my favorite perfume um uh, my favorite perfume would probably be the one from express I don't even know if it has a name. It's just from Express and it smells super good. What is your favorite holiday? Uh, besides Halloween, because I love October, I'd say Thanksgiving. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, rate your childhood. Uh, honestly, I had a great childhood. I was just telling my mom this like the other day. I had a great childhood, so I'd say a 10. Have you been out of the country? Yep, to Mexico. Do you speak any different languages? Yes, um, I speak Spanish. Do you have any siblings? I have two brothers and a sister. What is your favorite store? Um, Sephora, Mac, Ulta, and for clothes, Forever 21. What is your favorite restaurant? I'd say Olive Garden. Did you like school? Um, not really. Education is important. So, stay in school, kids. Um, 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 who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Kathleen Lights, Jacqueline Hill, um, Nicole Guerrero, Beauty Bird, Manny MUA. I have so many. What is your favorite movie? Frozen. What are some of your favorite TV, sh TV shows? Um, Pretty Little Liars. Keeping up with Kardashians, Young and Hungry, The Fosters, PC or Mac. I'd say Mac since I'm such an Apple girl. Um, I have an iPhone, I have a MacBook. What phone do you have? I have an iPhone. And how tall are you? I'm 5'2". I've always been told that I was like 5'2 and 3 quarters, so yeah. A lot of people normally don't even think that I'm 5'2". Like, I have... I have like long legs and a short torso so like from far away I do look pretty tall but like when you stand next to me I'm not so tall 
and I hit my growth spurt in fifth grade. I used to get made fun of all the time by all the boys because I was taller than them and they would tell me like, oh, how's the weather up there? And I'm just like, how's it down there? Anyways, so yeah, I used to get made fun of all the time. I literally would come home crying and tell my mom like, take me to the doctor so that they can cut off some of my leg and sew it back together and I don't have to be so tall. And then one summer, I got sick and um when i finally like came back or i think it was like a summer and like a whole school year i got really sick and um i like finally like came back and i like had came back to like cheer also and literally everyone was like taller than me so i haven't grown since the fifth grade and i've been this height since forever do you have any pets no. I had a chihuahua and I was at work and I came home from work and my mom forgot to tell me that my dog like ran away and she never went out to go look for him so I never found him. Bay food. Pizza. All the way. I love pizza. I can live off of pizza. I haven't had pizza in a while though and I really really want some but yes I love pizza. Bacon and pepperoni. Mmm mountain mics no really i can eat like any kind of pizza though for real it's really bad how much i love pizza it's just so good i think that's basically it let's see what else can i remember i got my appendix out when i was in the fifth grade my mom sent me to school when i told her that my stomach was hurting and she still made me go to school so then i got sent home from school and then I'm pretty sure she made me walk home because I lived around the corner and she couldn't pick me up. So I still had to walk home. So then she still wouldn't take me to the hospital. And then she called and then she still made me take a nap and see how I was going to wake up and feel. And I did, was not getting any better. So then she finally took me and my appendix was like on the verge of like bursting until that's how long she decided to take me. I also broke my foot one time. It's like, you know how your like toes like, you know, have this like bendy thingy-majiggy, your toes? Um, I like broke right there and I remember um, I like slipped in the girls bathroom or something like that in the 8th grade and I, when she picked me up from school I was like limping and it was just like so bad and I remember like that night when I was like trying to go to sleep I was in so much pain and she wouldn't take me to the doctors or anything so then it wasn't until like I went back to like soccer practice like I couldn't even practice so then my coach told her that she needed to take me to the doctors and I had to go get an x-ray so it wasn't until like a month later that I had went to the doctors and got an x-ray and um my foot was ended up being broken so then i had to get a cast that's basically it i hope you guys enjoy this get to know me i just really really appreciate the followers that i have like i'm not huge like on instagram or on youtube or snapchat or none of that and um I don't care to be it's more about just me like having fun and like I said being able to express myself and I like that you guys let me do that and you guys show me such positivity and um, I'm really happy that I started this YouTube and you know who knows what will happen like later on but I did decide to go to makeup school and get certified so I'm currently in that and I have about like I think four more weeks left so it's so fun I'm so glad I decided to do it and that's just chapter one of my book and there's so much more that I want to do and I'm just so excited and don't think that you guys have to like get out of high school and know exactly what you guys want to do in life because I thought I was going to be a freaking doctor and I was in the medical field and I was going to school for to be like in the medical field and I completely changed and then I wanted to do kinesiology and you know become like a physical therapist and um 
Yeah, there's, I've changed my major a bunch of times and I finally found something that really makes me happy and I enjoy doing and it's not a drag. Like I'm not like, ugh, I have to go to class and ugh, I have to do this or like when I get people who book with me for their makeup and I get to do their makeup for like their special event like that literally makes me so happy and I love their reaction after or when they send me texts the next morning and they're like oh my makeup lasted until 5 a.m and I'm just like yay you know I'm so glad like that literally to me is just like rewarding and I really like love where I'm going and what I'm doing and I'm so glad I chose to do something like this so I hope that everyone finds whatever they want to do in life and they go for it and don't let anyone discourage you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Leave me any ideas that you guys have for videos. I always look through my comments and if anybody ever wants to see anything specific just tell me and I will do it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.